Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create raised lettering for teaching children um, their letters. It's really basic and simple and I'll be doing two methods. So what we're going to be needing is some paper, um, some construction cards, something like that, um, and some glue, some craft glue or PVA glue, a paintbrush and some acrylic or poster paints and some water obviously. So let's get started. We're also going to be needing some salt. You can also use sand in this as well. Um, some kind of granules like sand or salt will be perfect. Now we're going to be using the, gl the glue to create the letter. I've chosen to, to use to create an S in this particular tutor tutorial. Obviously you can create any letter, you can also use it to create numbers. I've gone over it twice here to make it a little bit more raised and a little bit thicker. You can do it as many times as you want, depending on how raised you want it to look. Now it's time to add the salt, to start sprinkling the salt on top of the glue. Obviously the whole point of this is to make that, make sure that the, the sand sticks to the glue so that the salt creates that, the shape of the specific letter or number that you're, that you're doing. So you'd sprinkle the salt all over it and then shake off the excess to create the letter and then leave it to dry. So once you put all the glue on this, on the, uh, all the salt on the um, glue, it should really look like this and then you set it aside to leave it to dry and then once it's dry you can begin the painting like what I'm going to show you now. So once it's all painted it should look like this. Um, it's not the neatest S in the world but you get the idea of what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to be slightly raised. And so when your child actually puts, a, puts his or her finger over the letter, you can actually feel the letter. Our point is to, to create like a tangible letter or number to help them to actually remember it. This is something that the Montessori philosophy um, advocates quite a lot. So now I'm going to show you how to do another version of the raised lettering. This time, we're not going to be using any sand at all. We're literally just going to be using um, glue and paint. Um, so stay tuned for this next way of doing raised lettering. So as you can see here, I'm just squirting the PVA glue or the craft glue into a, a container. Um, and then I'll be adding the paint. This specifically, this specifically, this time I'm using watercolour paint, um, but you can actually use acrylic paint. Really, I, I would recommend acrylic paint is actually going to be better in this specific incident because it does mix with the PVA glue better than the watercolours does. Watercolour, sometimes you get a little few lumps with it, but this is what I had available, so this is what I've, I, I had used. So if this is all you have, you can use watercolour paint instead. So you want it to be thoroughly mixed so that you can't see the white of the PVA glue anymore. And once you've done that, you can actually start painting whatever letter, number that you want to write. I'm actually going to be doing a K today, which is a K for my son's name. So you can actually do three or four coats, depending on how thick you want it to be. If you want it to be very raised, you can actually do six to seven coats by doing one coat and then letting it dry and doing another coat, letting it dry and so on and so forth until you get the desired effect you want it to be very very thick and so it's more um, attractive for your child to, to touch. So I went ahead and I added some gold paint. This actually made it a lot more raised and it looked a little bit more attractive for my son um, and I did a couple of other letters as well on smaller cards. I did a C and an A. I also did a D and a B as well to just to, to um, make it look a little bit more attractive. So you can do this as well, you can add gold paint, silver paint or any other colour if you want or you could even add another layer of glue over the top and then do the painting over the top as well just to give it that raised effect. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and come back again for another 
tutorial which I will be putting up next week so thanks a lot for watching and go to my blog homeschooling east london at blogspot.co.uk the links are all below thanks a lot for watching bye also please do take a look at the blo the book that I wrote with my son called Kyrian said I'm not scared of spiders to help children with self-esteem click on the link below to grab a copy of the book thanks a lot for watching bye